It started on Selection Sunday. The team had worked for months to find out if they had made the postseason. And the band was with them the entire time. Moving on out of the Southeastern Conference, the Tigers of Missouri at 20 and 12. 12 wins better than they were a season ago. The Tigers have made it to the postseason. The last time they were there was 2013. Missouri is the number eight seed. Mizzou was Nashville bound. Being able to go to the first NCAA tournament in five years, I think it is, um, it's, it's really cool just to be able to represent um, the University of Missouri on the national level. And um, not only that, but being able to travel to cool places. Um, and Nashville was definitely one of those cool places. <laughs> it was wheels up for Nashville. Thursday started with interviews from professional and amateur journalists. Then it was off to the arena for practice. And marching band, it's a hurry up and wait scenario. So that was the roughest part, was getting to everything an hour before we were supposed to and just sitting and waiting and you just have all this anxiety and tension and excitement just built up and you just want to go out and do everything and just have fun and get it over with, so. It was fun, because I got to, I've never talked with, you know, cheerleaders, Golden Girls, basketball players, um, and you know, getting to see all of them up close, getting to talk to them, get to know them, was pretty fun, because we traveled with the cheerleaders, we traveled with Truman the Tiger, Golden girls everywhere. That was pretty fun. Uh, made some new friends. Um, yeah, I'd say it was, it was pretty fun. It was back to the hotel to rest up for game day. The big day started with time to relax. It's this huge resort with lots and lots of stuff to do. There was a mall attached. Uh, indoor, like, huge atrium, all kinds of different plants. And go out for food. Prince's was pretty great. Uh, <laughs> we actually met a guy who was the uh, brother-in-law of my Organic One professor. And uh, that was kind of an interesting encounter, a small world. We also got to meet some of the Florida State band members. They were pretty cool. Uh, the chicken was pretty great, too. Then came game time. Being in that atmosphere, when I first walked into Bridgestone Arena, I didn't expect the entire place to be sold out. I thought, oh, there's maybe gonna be like 300 people there. It definitely was not that way. It was, it was a packed house and it was a lot more than I anticipated, which was a really cool feeling. Texas Southern's band being next to us was awesome. The atmosphere was electric. The Tigers were finally ready for the game to start. Months of hard work were about to come to fruition. As the final seconds ticked off the clock, the Tiger season came to an end. On Saturday, the Tigers went back to Columbia with short-lived dreams of a championship, but also with memories that will last a lifetime. It kind of stinks that we lost, but um, it was really cool just to be able to have that experience. When we came within six there in the second half, 
I'd like to think Marching Mizzou try to help them along the way. It's pretty cool to see how far they've come. Even though we lost the game, I still had a great time.